Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Hero Hacks action figure Flash Gordon. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take a look at him in box, and I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on him. So, with all that being said, without any further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so here he is in box. Um, you got him in the clamshell. You have a Bit of art over here, the Hero Hack logo, Flash Gordon, Flash Gordon uh, for adult collectors. Um, the art is interesting. I kind of like the style of art, but I'm not too big on how the face looks. And it is, to me personally, and this is just my personal thoughts on this, I think the face looks a little creepy. And the, the pose that they have him in, in this looks a little weird to me. You know, I mean, that's just my personal thoughts on it. I just feel like the face looks a little creepy and the pose just looks a little bit awkward. But other than that, it still would look nice on a shelf or hanging up, you know, with the rest of your Flash Gordon and, and you know, sci-fi memorabilia. So let's take a look at the back. Okay. So the back shows him and um, Prince Baron, which is part of this line as well. It gives a picture of him, Hero Hacks, a description of Flash Gordon, and you got some legal stuff and a skew on the back. Now, the neat thing about this packaging, though, is it has these little tabs here. And what that does is that allows you to open up the figure without damaging the packaging. So, if you want to display him out of the box, you can. And then if you want to put him back in the packaging and display him that way, you can do it, you know... Also, without damaging any of the packaging. So, that's pretty neat that they did it that way. So, looking at all that, let's open them up. Hey, are you going to be in the Philadelphia area between September 9th and 10th? If so, check out RetroCon. It's affordable. They have lots of great vendors. There's going to be cosplay competitions, celebrities, and much, much more. So, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And also... Samuel J. Jones is going to be there, better known as Flash Gordon. So check it out. All right, so here's the Flash Gordon figure. Um, he's really nice looking. I like the detail to this figure. Um, I like the face sculpt and everything. Uh, he does come with, I'm going to bring it up here, his own little stand here for Hero Hacks, which is kind of cool. Uh, it has one, two, three, four different pegs, so you can put them anywhere on this thing that you really do desire to i guess so let's see how well his fit, foot fits on one of these Ugh. all right not so good there mm. all right so this is a bit interesting um kind of hard to get his foot in these pegs here um hmm all right I mean, he got like four different pegs here. You'd think that they would, his foot would fit pretty well on one of these. That's interesting. All right, try that one. All right, so we got him on that one at least. So let's give him the rotation. Okay, like I said, he's a nice looking figure. They really put some detail into him. All right. So, let's go through his points of articulation. So, his head does swivel. Alright, he has a shoulder joint. An elbow joint. And a wrist joint. Right, put his arms up. He does have a torsal joint. He has a joint right here under the ribs. Alright. He has a thigh joint. Swivel right up here. All right, he has a knee joint like that, and then his ankle's actually on a ball joint. So, overall, he does have some really nice points of articulation. 
All right. Uh, let's get him to stay there. All right. Uh, he comes with a bunch of accessories. So he comes with closed fist. All right. And that's two of them. Okay. He comes with, you know, a Mongo laser rifle, which is kind of cool. He comes with another one with a sling. And then he comes with, of course, the iconic sword. All right. All right, we're going to see how well this works. Um, I had some problems getting him to stay on the stand. Uh, the way how the pegs are set up, it, it's kind of hard. So I played around with it a little bit off screen, so hopefully he'll stay on there. Uh, that That's a bit of a bummer because you would think that, you know, a stand that actually comes with the figure, he should sit on there a lot easier opposed to, like, a generic one. I mean, I can understand if, like, you know, he wouldn't stand right on a generic stand because, you know, it isn't made for him. But this stand is literally made for this figure, and I had to, like, fight with it to keep him on there. So, let's start looking at some of his other accessories and see how well they work with him. So, first off, let's um take this hand off and put one of the closed fists on him. All right, that comes off pretty easy. And that goes in pretty well, okay? Um, he does have soft fingers, so they do open and they're play pliable. So that way, you know, you should be able to just work some of these weapons in there. All right, do the sword first. All right. There we go. All right, so the sword works. Looks really good on him. All right. Uh, let's try this funky laser. Yeah, that works as well. All right. And then this one, it seems like the hardest one is the sword. If you could get the sword into his hand, okay, that works just as well. See how well this slings over him. It just clamps in there. All right, so, okay, so that unclamps, and then it just clamps right back on. So, all right. So the overall, he's a really nice figure. I really like him. Um, I like a lot of the um, detail to this figure. I like the face sculpt. Overall, I think this is a really cool figure. If you're a Flash Gordon fan, especially of the movie, I would recommend this figure. The only issue I have with this particular figure is getting him onto his stand. But it looks like once you play with it and work with it, he does stay. Now, the other problem, two main problems with the stand. Again, I'm on the stand. One, it seems like this, the pegs are a little bit too long for the feet. So, it's hard to get it to just sit in there because the pe the holes in his feet are a little shallow. And two, his ankle is on a ball joint. So, while you're trying to work that peg in, you know, the, the ankle is swiveling all over the place and it makes it a little bit of a pain. But... Looks like once you get him on there, he's on there. So that's a good thing. So once again, I would recommend this to any Flash Gordon fan. So I hope you did like this review. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's a small click for you, but it really helps my channel grow. So until the next one, late.